Good morning, everybody. Relic right here. I got Sister Rhonda behind the camera for a couple hours this morning. Got Justin McGee with me. We both got legends. I got the smallest coil they make. Justin got the biggest coil they make. I'm gonna get around this old chimney, stack of chimney rocks here and uh, see what I can find with a little coil and he's gonna see if he can't get a little depth with that bigger coil and see what he can get out of the ground. Um, both got root slayers. Clicker Bob is on 49, 49.91. So some point here in a little while, we're gonna be giving away a, uh, we're gonna be giving away a note to legend pro pack. When Clicker Bob hits 5,000, first person to comment, note to whatever the relic is, legend. In comments, it'll be obvious to everybody, first person to comment is gonna win a note to legend pro pack. I'll be sending you one in the mail. So, uh, Come go with us. Let's see what we can find on this beautiful, beautiful, chilly March or April morning. I can't remember. March. Is the end of March? Come go with us. Something cool right here too. It's got writing on it. Got yeah. Yep. <laughs> Porcelain. Piece of yeah. What is it? That's funny. Wonder what it would say. E E T. That's funny. Very cool. <laughs> oh, that's old. Yep. I figure out what that is. Justin's got a good target right in the road. We were coming up the hill to do an opening and he had a signal coming up the road and marked it. So. Look at that, part of a jar. Yep. A jar. Oh, top. Top around mm -hmm. it, yeah. More stuff. Might be a piece of iron or something right here, I think. A lot of targets in the ground. Yeah. Something round. Then little and round. It's early in the morning, y'all. I'm gonna turn my flashlight on. Huh, uh, what is that? That is a modern penny. <laughs> <laughs> First hole of the day, y'all. A modern oh, penny at Lincoln. a 200 year old home site. Anyway, there might even be a later, <laughs> like a state, one of the new state pennies or something. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a piece of iron. Could be a. It'd be an iron ring because it likes it one second and doesn't like it the next. And I did not click clicker bob for you guys watching. I bet y'all want me to, don't you? So clicker bob's on what? You know it's upside down. Oh. 49.92. Clicker, clicker bob's on 49. He's on 49.92. Well, 91, but you're getting ready oh. to click it to 92. Okay. There you go. You confused me. There. Okay. <laughs> Big old square nail. Hopefully not the target. I put that in my pocket every time. What did I do with that square nail? Oh, big old pretty square nail right there. Yep. Talking on uh, Facebook the other day to some people and basically we all decided that square nails point the way to the treasure every time. 
Never a bad thing to be digging square nails. But that wasn't my target, I hope. Another one, maybe? Chunk of something. Don't know what that is. Y'all may be a piece of lead. It's square, too. Is it a big old square peg? That could have been the target because of the shape, but I don't yep. think it was. It wasn't great, but anyway, swing over it one more time. This is probably a better place to dig than we give it credit. <laughs> I'm going to say that was it. What is that, Justin? Mm, not sure. Domed piece of metal. With a hole in it. With a hole in it, yeah. Hmm. Sort of a scutcheon, maybe? No. Huh. Maybe. This looks like a little bell. Kinda. Could that be a phone bell? Mm -mm. I think it's too little. I hear you, but it's, it could be about that big. it's very much bell hmm. shaped. Interesting, though. Haven't cleaned it off yet, but I think it's going to be maybe an overall button. Looks like. Yeah. All right, I'm tired. I'm gonna rest Very my cool. Iron face. It's got a design on it, but I can't quite make it out yet. We have Let to clean that up. Yep. Let me get a flashlight out here. Put a little flashlight on it. Oh, cool. Might be a train button. Yep. Anyway, we'll clean that up and show y'all at the tailgate. Definitely a coverall button. 100 mm -hmm. years old, probably. Go cool, fine. Right here in the road. Right here in the road. What you got? All right, there's my piece of iron that was under the root. Ugh. Not all bad. Some sort of stove. Some sort of stove door part or something. Anyway, we're going to make us an iron pile right here on these roots, and we'll probably bring a bucket up here in a little while and get them. Make a pile right there. No idea what third hole of the day is going to bring us. I'm going to dig it, though. It's making a noise. Very much like a head stamp. Very much like a head stamp type signal. Let's see what it is. Quite get to it because of that root. Multiple targets in the ground. Ha 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 ha. Go, relic rat, go. Call yeah. the head stamp. It's a head stamp. Probably 100 years old. Head stamp. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's an old one, though. Yep. I got enough of it to have it mounted. <laughs> we live in history. One old wiry thing at a time. Uh, but it's not beeping on the wire. The wires are four or six. Huh. It, it popped out of the hole, I'm telling you, when I when I broke something loose uh, and flew somewhere. I'm gonna find it here in a minute. Old 49.99, y'all. 49.99 is a good, good high tone, but uh, bouncing around a good bit too. It'd be a, it'd be a big round piece of iron or something. Yep, I moved it. It wasn't as good as my last target. So not surprised this one disappeared, but <laughs> two in a row. Just a piece of iron. I would assume. A little piece of something, something, y'all. Liked it the way it was laying, and then it didn't like it. Anyway, a little old stuff together.
seems pretty deep. 28 or 29. Deep. Soft, didn't it? Another head stamp. Another head stamp. Deeper than the other one, though. Yep. It'll trick you. Very good. All right, everybody. We're on forty-nine ninety-nine. Look at what the legend's saying. Really jumpy. Probably too bouncy for the five thousand target. I'm gonna mark it though, because Sister Rhonda's got to leave here in about fifteen minutes. And if I can't find a better target in the next 15 minutes for a whole 5,000, I'm going to come back to that one. In the meantime, I bet Justin's going to dig some good stuff. Same thing. Bouncy, bouncy. Probably iron. We're not even going to mark that one. Not for a whole 5,000, we're not. Looking for that good target. I'd rather not have to say, nope to Prince Albert can. Legend. Same deal right here, look at this. Iron, iron, iron. Could be something good beside the iron though. Just gonna go check both of these signals and see if they're see if they're worthy of giving away a legend on. Iron. Yeah, it's pretty bouncy and yep. scratchy. Check this one right here. I think it's the same way. All right, we're gonna keep looking. Unless Justin says that other one's good. So much stuff in the ground here, y'all. Uh -uh. Not good. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I didn't think so. Uh -uh. Both the, both of them are chunks of stove or something, aren't they? Yeah, they're chunking, but they're, yeah. They're... Mostly iron. Justin's like a bear, turning over logs. All right, everybody, on $49.99, looking for that. Looking for that worthy signal. Round full of stuff. One good target, and it'll be legend time. Justin's trying to help me find a good target. Sister Rhonda's got to go here in about 10 minutes. And Justin's gonna help me find that target and let me dig it. I don't know if he'll let me dig it if he thinks it's a silver quarter. Anything, anything silver, dime, or under, I bet we're good. All right, y'all. Sister Rhonda's got to leave. We're desperately looking for a 5,000th target. That is not it. But she's got to leave, and we really like for her to film it. So. <laughs> it's repeatable 26 27 all right it's repeatable here we go y'all oh five thousand on the day don't think it's don't think it's a silver nine but we're gonna see what it is something fun oh <laughs> <laughs> Clicker Bob was on $49.99 and I clicked it and instead of going to 5,000, it went back to 4,900 and it won't stay in. Obviously it's time to retire this dude. It won't stay in. So I'm having to hold it and push it up and down and we're going to get it back. Please go to 5,000, not 4,900. Ah, 
Did it do it again? It went back to forty nine ninety that time. <laughs> <laughs> Clicker Bob's just I want y'all to know, y'all have barely, we have barely survived. Oh, $49.90. <laughs> <laughs> Forty nine hundred again, y'all. I promise y'all, he's on five thousand. <laughs> hey, look, watch. No, I'm not gonna be rude to him. I was gonna twist him off and put him in my pocket, but we'll either get him some new clothes or we'll get him a brother. We probably had to get a Clicker Bob brother. We'll call him Clicker Billy. So we're on whole five thousand. Y'all gotta trust me. Old five thousand was a weird old wax head with a place for a big handle. So to win, gotta be a subscriber. You, you got to be the first one to comment. Don't step on my coil. It's touching your foot. You got to be the first one to say Nocta Axe Legend. Nocta Axe Head Legend. Either one. Cool old stuff. On YouTube. On YouTube. Yep. As a subscriber to Relic Rat. Not Facebook. YouTube. Reliving history. One old axe head at a time. All right, y'all. Sister Rhonda had to leave. I was coming down the hill to the truck here. Our iron pile's up there by the chimney stack. And I just thought I'd take a different route. We've been here a few times before and see what I could find. I'd have swore I had a head stamp. Let me take my glove off. Clipped it out of the plug and started cleaning it off. What in the world do I have, y'all? It's got to be a button. Got to be a button, but I do not see a shank mark. So Clicker Bob is dead. He made it to uh, he made it to five thousand. He actually wouldn't click over to five thousand. What do I have, y'all? It's got to be a big old flat button. Cool. One of my better finds of the day for sure. It's quarter. It's almost quarter size. Can't be a coin. It's too thin. All right, y'all. I may have something very cool. At the very least, I got a two hundred year old flat button. So. Reliving history, one old relic at a time. Clean that up at the tailgate and show y'all. All right, everybody. There's something coming through on this button. I'm still right here where I dug it, just standing here staring at it because still not convinced this button. I think it says TWD or TWO. I guess that's the back. I guess that's the shank right there. Anyway. Cool old fine. 200 year old button. I love it. All right, everybody. Once again, Clicker Bob's dead. Y'all killed him. He sort of made it to 5,000 for the giveaway. Justin's digging right down there. I went down there a while ago to get a bucket to put some of the iron in, and uh, on the way, I found a big old dandy button. Got excited and uh, never made it to the truck. But anyway, I'm coming down the hill again, and Justin and I were talking about maybe going to another place, and I swung over a signal, and I was trying to get it out of my mouth. That sounds like a nickel signal. And there it is on top of the ground. Oh, it's a head stamp. <laughs> Darn it. Is that a head stamp? Oh, yep. That is a smushed head stamp, but that's a head stamp. Darn. I guess I should have been over and looked before I turned the camera on. UMC, new club though, 100 years old probably. You can see, I guess in the road, I guess side by sides, this, this is not where they drive a truck, but I guess side by sides, I squished it good. Anyway, surface find of the day. All right, everybody, I was about to put my little surface find head stamp in my pocket. Justin said, um, I think I got something cooler than a head stamp. <clears throat> we were debating when I saw that little surface find what I thought was a nickel. We were debating on whether to stay here or go somewhere else. But we had we were saying maybe stay here, but we hadn't decided. What you got? Oh, cool. Maybe part of a brooch. Brooch, sash buckle. Oh, that's cool. Pen it had pins on the back. I don't know what that is, Justin. That doesn't, that's not your typical mm -mm. hair pins or clothes attachment pins. Very cool. Y'all, we've been up and down this road a <laughs> lot. A lot. We've been up and down this road a lot. This is sort of the, the this isn't the old road, but this is sort of the four wheeler side by side road. Right here by the truck, finding old brooches and hair pins. All right, everybody. Still right here below the old chimney. Still in the, virtually in the road. 
And once again, we don't think this was the road at the time. It's just down the hill from the house. Oh, very cool. I don't know what that is. Number seven. Number seven. That reminds me of something like a stove. Great, you know. Uh, I don't know. I bet you we can, uh, I bet we'll post that on Metal Detecting Georgia and get some answers. Very cool find. It's brass or copper? Mm-hmm. Maybe uh, cast yes. uh, brass. All right. Very cool. Reliving history one old relic at a time. Been here a bunch of times. Heard a little squeaking tone. Down in the hole. I don't know where some sunlight is, but I don't know if I'm going to find it. I'm sure we'll show y'all on the tailgate, but I can see words on there. Help me out, Dustin. Justin, and tell me what that says. There's some sunlight. Oh, blue. Blue uh, buckle. Blue buckle. That's blue it. buckle. Yep. That might be uh, a match to the one I found uh, earlier. Overall button. Very cool. Cool old stuff. All right, everybody. I'm not going to take my glove off for this. There's our iron pile in my vest. There's a hole. Just dug a, just dug a little coverall button right behind me. Right here on that old stump, right by the chimney stack. Old iron buckle. And popped all the dirt out of it. It's got the little buckle tonguey thing. I don't know what to call those. I probably should learn since I dig a whole bunch of buckles. Cool old fine. Reliving history. One old relic at a time. All right, everybody. I just dug that little buckle. Justin was right here beside me, literally in his very next hole. So now we're a button, a buckle, and another button. I want to say that's an arm and hammer. Arm and hammer. Oh, that's got the arm and the muscle arm yeah, on it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Cool, old, fine. Recovering artifacts together. I don't know what hole I'm on because y'all kill Clicker Bob trying to win a legend. He hit 5,000 a day and then blew up. Kind of weird not having to say what hole I'm on. Check out that though. Told I told uh, Justin it was a uh, told Justin it was a dime signal, and it was in a hole somebody dug here months ago. Believe it or not, so somebody hit that signal. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's cool. Somebody hit that signal. Found something else in the hole and left that. How cool is that? Very cool. Yeah, reliving history, one old buckle at a time. Plug over. Had a really good tone, but then it had iron too. That's why. Old smokehouse lock with the brass. I don't know what that is. That's not the lock slide. Lock slide's usually elongated. I don't see anything on there, but that is obviously a brass something on the lock maybe in the back maybe that was the back plate where the where the keyhole matched up or something anyway never seen anything like that usually if the lock slide is intact which is cool it's elongated and it's hanging down over the keyhole but anyway that is obviously a very cool old relic recovering artifacts together all right everybody we were headed down the hill towards the truck we were going to do a quick tailgate wrap up and go to one spot one spot we've dug a lot, but it's a 200-year-old school site, and we were literally walking down the hill to the truck to do a tailgate wrap-up. I popped that little dude out of the ground. Intact. Oh, look, it's got two holes in the bottom instead of a slot. If I've ever seen one of those, they're probably common, but anyway. Cool old find, y'all. Recovering artifacts. One old middle Georgia relic at a time. All right, everybody, Dustin's cleaning off my so-called button. You can see, we're going to clean that up on camera on the tailgate wrap-up. <coughs> Check out all those words, Justin. Oh, I see yeah, Georgia. I do, too. We're going to clean that up with a brush during the tailgate wrap-up. Cleaning up my so-called flat button, but we're just not sure. It's very, very worn. It's worn so thin, it's... And we... I guess can see a place for a shank, but not sure. Anyway, it's got some words on there. Before the video, we are going, hopefully, figure out what that is. All right, everybody. Got a tailgate full of cool stuff. Justin cleaning up some old pieces there. Oh, what is that? I didn't even know that was there. Is that a crown? 
Like an eagle. An eagle. Or something, maybe. Very cool. All right, we're going to try to do a tailgate wrap up. We're having too much fun. Scrub that for me. <laughs> that has got words all over it. Georgia. We were suspicious of Georgia. I wonder if that's a, what if that's a damper out of a stove? It usually has slots in it if it is. Right size for a six inch stove damper. What do you see on this? Something FDY co Foundry Company. I'm foundry. Thinking. I got you. Something Foundry Company. All right, we're going to have to cut this off and restart a tailgate. We're going to have like do a double tailgate wrap up. Rome, Georgia. Rome, Georgia Foundry. So, anyway. so op. So op. <laughs> so, Soco. Soco. Op. Southern Company. OP Foundry company maybe Southern company. anyway cool we're gonna turn this off and cool. talk about all the little brass things we found all right everybody i'm gonna start with a little stuff so we're gonna run out of time some sort of axle collar uh something very cool justin found don't know what that is what do you think justin I'm not sure <laughs> square nail real cool find of the day something with some writing on it we're pretty sure it's a flat button but uh May get some more info for the video. Some sort of sash buckle thingy. I found cool. Probably not that old a scutcheon thing. Uh, horseshoe on the way down the hill. Old 5,000 on the day. Stirrup. Horse stirrup. Oh, horse stirrup. People should go in there. Horse stirrup. <laughs> um, old 5,000 on the day was that axe head right there, which is kind of weird because it's that's not where a typical axe handle would go unless it's maybe it's unfolded broken. it's broken yeah it's yeah. broken but that's i mean that's a big old axe handle to go in there anyway mm -hmm. found some stuff with some words on them we'll get some close-ups maybe before the video what else justin i know i'm missing stuff oh several Bro buttons brooch pin type yeah, thing or cool something little brooch thing justin found let me hold that Couple buttons. that's cool right there oh that's delicate razor handle oh yeah razor handle I think we found three overall buttons. We'll get some names off those for the video. Oh, Mine. another piece of lead. Just oh, like yeah. that one. Yeah. So there was a guy on one of the one of the digging sites that had a long piece of this stuff. Huh. And I actually commented, I think we've dug some of that. Let me find a picture. And then I, and then he got gone. <laughs> so disappeared down the thing. What's that button say? I know we got a name on one of them. Blue buckle, I think. Blue buckle. Anyway, really cool as old stuff. I'm sure I'm missing stuff. There's a iron buckle. Oh. Um, a uh, smokehouse lock with a weird piece of brass in it. Never seen a lock slide that's little and round like that. Usually they kind of hang down over the hole. Anyway, cool old find, reliving history, one old relic at a time. All right, y'all. Justin and I left the 5,000th house. Came over here to a spot that I have dug to death and he found the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> it's heavy we're doubting whether it might be pure silver or not it reminds both of us of where they used to turn a horse's hoof upside down to make a coat rack or a gun rack anyway we're going everything we found here we can put right here together <laughs> <laughs> i have found two little weird suspender clip thingies and justin has found if that is a pure silver something find of the year but i think it's not i think it's silver plated very very cool though anyway reliving history some maybe old relics at a time all right y'all when we turned the last video off we were trying to figure out what justin was holding and when i walked away i said i got it bet you that's a cane top i bet that is a deer hoof mm -hmm. cane top and it's certainly either silver plated or maybe all the way silver what a cool cool find man we were just coming over this spot for 30 40 minutes as we headed out You're gonna hit this one old schoolhouse that i have dug dozens of times and there you go <laughs> deep in the ground deep right there look how deep he dug under roots yep i heard him over here chopping while i was digging my little brass clippers cool stuff very cool all right y'all okay gonna... got it i see it but i can't can't uh you're sitting on your detector. Be careful. Right. 
Here it comes, here it comes. Is it iron? Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's a... Turret, it, fly turret. Yeah, it's a... But, uh, it's, but it's silver plated. Silver plated. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Fly turret or uh, get rain's guide. Rain's guide, there you go. No wonder it's such a good signal. And a little jumpy, but darn good high tone. Awesome, two finds in a row. Two, uh, two possibly pieces of silver plated stuff right there together. Very cool. Yep, congratulations. Found the range guide another, and I swung right here and I about took the Joker's eyeballs off. His eyeballs were sticking up when I swung, and when I went past him, I saw him go down. That's a weird looking tree frog thing. What's doing there, little dude? Oops. How cool is that? He looks gooey. He's so green, he looks gooey. <laughs> Be still. He's a happy dude.